Now, the Iraqi army, along with volunteer fighters, is pressing ahead with its mop-up operations to force Daesh out of the western province of Ambar. In their latest uh, battles against the terrorist group, Iraqi soldiers managed to push back terrorists from a key district in the city of Hate. The Iraqi troops have killed scores of terrorists with the help of air power. The Iraqi army is engaged in a major offensive to recapture the whole of Umbar province from Daesh. It seized full control of the provincial capital Ramadi in February, dealing a major blow to the terror group. Daesh terrorists occupied large swathes of land in uh, northern and western Iraq following their onslaught in June 2014, but they have lost much of that territory to Iraqi forces since then. Joining us uh, via Skype from Belfast is Saeb Shaf. He's an author and Middle East expert. Many thanks for joining us here on Press Mr. Shaf. Now, of mm -hmm. course, all these operations that are taking place to mop up uh, Ambar province from uh, Daesh terrorists, it's all leading to that final bastion of Mosul. Yeah, the allied uh, uh, forces with the Iraqi army itself, they are aiming to uh, cleanse Daesh from that area, especially near Arvans, and then take Al Fallujah. Uh, this is the uh, area which is causing the security mayhem for them, uh, and, uh, uh, and the heart of the operation of Daesh, which is the militants launch their uh, military activities and uh, uh, booby trap cars and all of that to uh, Baghdad and to the other regions from that area. So to take that area, to take uh, Anvar's province, to take hate, to push these guys farther, which even the uh, Iraqi air forces on their tail today till the, uh, the, uh, some of them run away till uh, the borders of Syria. Uh, that is uh, providing the Iraqi army then and the, uh, the popular uh, committees and the allied forces with the Iraqi army to push toward the last major uh, capital for Daesh in Iraq, which is Mosul. And that's before you can do such a thing. You need to uh, resecure and to uh, guarantee uh, the, the, your back. Uh, the capital, uh, Baghdad, is, is secure. And that's why is this uh, uh, major operation is very important for the Iraqi army to guarantee at least when they move toward Mosul, there is no repercussions uh, uh, on, on Baghdad, the capitals or the neighboring areas. Well, speaking of that, Mr. Shah, we do see whenever the Iraqi forces start making gains on the ground against Daesh, uh, uh, cities like Baghdad uh, are targeted uh, by these bomb attacks uh, quite frequently. Do you think that that is an issue to divert basically attention of the soldiers back towards these cities instead of making gains against Daesh in other places? It is, uh, it's a kind of uh, uh, psychological warfare. There is a sleeping cells uh, for Daesh uh, usually uh, in, in, in major cities like that. And when Daesh start losing territories and uh, receive a massive blow, Daesh resort to such tactics uh, to terrorize uh, the capital uh, to uh, at least uh, destroy the confidence which the Iraqi army and uh, its allied forces uh, regained from such liberation and to uh, boost the morale of its own uh, militants. Uh, thus, we are on the win with kind of uh, psychological uh, uh, operations like that. It aims at terrifying uh, the, the people and all them and shock them uh, to the core. And at the same time, it aims at uh, just uh, bringing some sort of confidence in the terrorist uh, militants, telling them uh, we still uh, they got the upper hands in here. And the same tactics, they used it, if you notice, they used it in Damascus and St. Zainab uh, uh, area, especially after the Syrian army uh, managed to liberate uh, huge areas in the north and the south of Syria. The same technique is there, but we witnessing, according to international organization who's a specialist in defense and security, uh, there is uh, uh, this, uh, between last year and this year, within Syria and Iraq, uh, the government forces and its allied forces with it, they managed to liberate nearly 20% of the territories uh, from Daesh-controlled uh, areas in Syria and in Iraq. So they are losing a ground, and these, uh, the, the government in Iraq are on the move and they are encouraged both of them in Syria and Iraq by the gains both government gaining against such uh, forces and the exposing of the uh, international uh, sponsor of such forces.
All right, that's uh, author and Middle East affairs expert Saib Shah joining us via Skype from Belfast. Mr. Shah, thank you very much indeed for your comments here on Press TV.